case so solving rational inequalities now in solving rational inequalities we have these five steps so first make the equation in general form so it's numerator over the denominator then zero on the right side now since this given in general form then just equate the numerator and denominator to zero to solve for the critical values so we have now x plus 2 equals 0 and to solve for x so x now is negative 2 and also x minus 4 equals 0 solve for x so x now is uh, positive 4 so these are the critical values then place the critical values on a number line so we have this number line so start with 0 so on the left negative on the right positive so we have uh, negative 2 and positive 4 1 2 3 and 4 so these are the critical values then take a test of numbers so that's before so before your first critical value so before negative 2 it's negative 3 then between so between the two critical values so between negative 2 and 4 we have negative 1 0 1 2 and 3 so any of those numbers but it's uh, i prefer to use 0 because it's easy to solve an equation if x equals 0 then the last one after so after your last critical value so after positive 4 and that's 5 so these are the numbers we're going to test then make a sign analysis table so this is our sign analysis table 2 3 4 and 5 so x so we have negative 3 negative 2 0 4 and 5 then for the numerator x plus 2 and for the denominator, that's x minus 4. Now, substitute first your, or substitute first the critical values to the numerator and denominator, and one of the equation becomes 0. So let's start with negative 2. So if x equals negative 2, so negative 2 plus 2, that's 0. And if the numerator equals 0, the answer is always 0. Then for uh, 4, so if x equals 4, so 4 minus 4, we have 0 denominator. And if the denominator equals 0, the answer is undefined or error. Okay? Now, for the test of numbers, so we have negative 3. So if x equals negative 3, so negative 3 plus 2 it's negative 1 so just write the sign only so just put the sign then if x equals negative 3 so negative 3 minus 4 that's negative 7 again just take the sign then divide so negative divide by negative so dividing the same sign the answer is positive then if x equals 0 so 0 plus 2 is positive 2 and 0 minus 4, it's negative 4. And positive divide by negative. So dividing unlike sign, the answer is negative. Then if x equals 5, so 5 plus 2, that's a positive 7. And 5 minus 4 is positive 1. Then positive divide by positive, it's positive. So this is the sign analysis uh, table. Then from the given, we have greater than 0. Now, since all positive numbers greater than 0, so therefore, just look for the positive result. Now, these are the critical values. Look for the positive result. So we have this positive on the left of negative 2. So on the left of negative 2, that's positive. And also, on the right of positive 4, that's positive. So on the right of 
positive 4. Then to write this one in interval notation, so we have from negative infinity to negative 2 union, okay, union positive 4 to positive infinity. So this is now the solution. Okay, let's have other example. So since this given in general form, so just equate the numerator and denominator to zero. So we have uh, x squared plus 2x minus 3, then equals zero. So before solving for x, we need to factor out this equation first. So we have this uh, factoring. So factors of x squared, we have x times x. And factors of 3, we have 3 and 1. Now, since the middle term is positive, therefore, the bigger number is positive. So, x minus 1 and x plus 3, and that's equal to 0. Then, to solve for x, so x minus 1 equals 0. So, x now is positive 1. And we also have x plus 3 equal to 0, so x now is negative 3. Then for the uh, denominator, 2x minus 6 equals 0, so 2x now is 6 to solve for x, divide by 2, so x, that's positive 3. So these are the critical values. Then place this cr uh, critical values on a number line, so, from this uh, number line, so we have uh, 0, negative, and positive. So, 1, 2, and 3. This one is negative 3. We have uh, positive 1 and positive 3. So, these are the critical values. Then, for the test of numbers, so that's before. So, before negative 3. We have this negative 4. Between, so between negative, uh, negative 3 and 1, so we have 0. And also between uh, 1 and 3, we have negat uh, positive 2. Then after, so after 3, we have 4. So these are the numbers we're going to test. So before, between, and after. Then in a sign analysis table, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. So 2, uh, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6, 7. So we have our x. That's a negative 4, negative 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then for the uh, numerator, use these uh, factors so x minus 1 and x plus 3 so that's uh, x minus 1 and x plus 3 then for the uh, denominator that's 2x minus 6 so 2x minus 6 okay so again start substituting the critical values we have negative 3 1 and 3 so, if x equals negative 3, so negative 3 plus 3, this one is 0. So, 0 numerator, the answer is 0. Then, if x is 1, so 1 minus 1, so 0 numerator, that's 0. Then, if x is 3, so 2 times 3, that's 6 minus 6. 0 denominator, this one is error. Then, for the test of numbers, so negative 4, so if x negative 4, so negative 4 minus 1, that's negative 5. Then negative 4 plus 3, that's negative 1. Then negative times negative, so the final answer now is positive. Then 2 times negative 4, so it's negative 8. The negative 8 minus 6 negative 14, then positive divided by negative, 
that's negative. Okay, so for x equals 0, so 0 minus 1, that's negative 1. And 0 plus 3 is positive 3. Then positive, and negative times positive, unlike sign, that's negative. Then 0 minus 6, that's negative. And negative divided by negative, that's positive. Then if x equals 2, 2 minus 1, that's positive 1. 2 plus 3 is positive 5. And positive times positive, that's positive. And 2 times 2 is 4 minus 6, that's negative 2. Positive divided by negative, that's negative. And if x is 4, so 4 minus 1, that's positive. Uh, 4 plus 3, that's positive 7. And this one is positive. 2 times 4, 8 minus 2, is positive 2. And positive divided by positive, that's positive. So this is now the sign analysis table. Then from the given, so we have... Uh, greater than I mean less than or equal to 0 and we all know that all negative numbers are less than or equal to 0 so therefore in the result just look for the negative so we have this uh, critical values the negative 3, 1 and 3 and we have negative on the left of negative 3 so negative 3 on the left of negative 3 that's negative and also between 1 and 3 so between 1 and 3 that's negative but since we also have equal to 0 so therefore again since we also have equal to 0 so therefore since negative 3 is equal to 0 so therefore, this negative 3 is part of the solution and this parenthesis becomes square bracket. And also negative 1, we have equal to 0, I mean positive 1, equal to 0. So therefore, this uh, parenthesis on positive 1 becomes square bracket. And to write this one in an interval notation, so from negative infinity to negative 3 then the square bracket union positive 1 the square bracket to positive 3 so this is now the solution okay so let's have this uh, other problem so first we need to write this one uh, this equation in general form so, to write this one in general form, transpose this positive 2 to the left side. So, this becomes 3x plus 1 over x plus 2, then minus 2, uh, greater than or equal to 0. Then, simplify this uh, equation first. So, we have the LCD, that's x plus 2. Then bring down your first term, so 3x plus 1, then minus 2 times this uh, denominator, x plus 2, then greater than or equal to 0. Then I uh, simplify, so we have 3x plus 1, distribute, that's negative 2x, distribute, it's negative 4 over x plus 2 then we have uh, greater than or equal to 0 then combine like terms so 3x minus 2x it's x then positive 1 minus 4 negative 3 over x plus 2 and that's greater than or equal to 0 so this time we can equate now the numerator and denominator to 0 to solve for the critical values so we have x minus 3 equals 0 x now is positive 3 and also x plus 2 equals 0 so x now is negative 2 so these are the critical values then place this uh, critical values on a number line so in our number lines so we have 0 uh, negative 2 and positive 3 and for the test of numbers so that's before so we have this 
negative three. Uh, then between, so that's zero. Then after, that's positive four. Then in a sign analysis table, one, two, three, three, four, and five. So we have x negative three, negative two, zero, three, and four. Then for the numerator, this one x minus three, x minus three, denominator x plus two. Then substitute first the critical values. So if x equals negative two, so negative two plus two, that's zero. Denominator, that's error. And if x equals positive three, so positive three minus three, zero. Numerator, that's zero. And for the test numbers, so negative three, so negative three minus three, that's negative six. Negative three plus two, that's negative one. And negative divided by negative, that's positive. Then if x equals zero, so zero minus three, that's negative three. Zero plus two, positive two, and negative divided by positive, that's negative. Then if x equals four, four minus three is positive one. Four plus two, positive six, and this one is positive. Then from the given, we have greater than zero. So all uh, positive numbers greater than or equal to zero. So look for the positive result. So from these critical values, so we have this positive on the left of negative 2. So on the left of negative 2, it's positive. And also on the right of positive 4. So on the right of positive 4, that's positive. But since we have this equal to 0 and 3, and 3 is equal to 0. So therefore, this 3 is a square bracket. Then in interval notation, so from a negative infinity to negative 2, then union a positive 3, so square bracket, to positive infinity. to positive infinity. So this is now the solution. Okay, so let's have this last example. So again, first we need to write this equation in general form. So transpose this x, uh, a 4 over x to uh, the left side. So that's 3 over x plus 1, then minus 4 over x, then that's less than 0. Then simplify this equation first. So LCD is just the product of the two denominators. So we have x plus 1 times x. Then I'll bring down the first uh, numerator. So 3 times. So x plus 1 cancel x plus 1. So we have x. So times x. Then minus 4 times cancel x. So we have this x plus 1. Then that's less than 0. Then simplify. So we have 3x minus 4x and minus 4, then over uh, x plus 1 times x, then that's uh, less than 0. Then I combine like terms, so 3x minus 4x, that's negative x, then minus 4 over uh, x plus 1 times x, and that's less than 0. Then equate now the numerator and denominator to 0. So we have negative x minus 4. That's equal to 0. So negative x now equals positive 4 or x. That's negative 4. Then uh, we also have uh, x plus 1 equals 0. So x now is negative 1. And the last one x equals 0. So these are the critical values. Then on a number line, so we have uh, 0, the negative 1, 
negative 2, negative 3, and negative 4. So again, these are the critical values. And for the test of numbers, that's before. So before a negative 4, we have this negative 5. Then between negative 4 and negative 1, so we can have negative 3 or negative 2. So just uh, uh, let's have negative 2. Then between negative 1 and 0, so we have this number that's negative 0 0.5. Then put this one in a sign analysis table. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So that's uh, x. So x now we have negative 5, negative 4, negative 2, uh, negative 1 negative 0 0.5 0 and also after 0 that's 1 so we have 1 then for the uh, numerator that's negative x minus 4 and the uh, denominator it's uh, x plus 1 times x okay so substitute first these critical values so, if x equals negative 4, so negative, negative 4 is positive 4 minus 4, then 0 and numerator, then that's 0. Then if x equals negative 1, so negative 1 plus 1, 0 denominator, this error. Then if x equals 0, so x is 0, so 0 numerator, I mean 0 denominator, and that's error. Then for the test of numbers, negative 5. So, negative, negative, that's positive 5 minus 4, it's positive 1. Then, negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4. And x is negative 5. And negative times negative, that's positive. Then, positive divided by positive, that's positive. Then, if x negative 2, so negative, negative 2 is positive 2 minus 4, that's negative 2. Then, negative 2 plus 1. That's negative 1. X is negative 2. And this one is positive. Then this one is negative. Then 0 0.5. So this one positive 0 0.5. It's negative 3.5. Negative 0 0.5, positive 0 0.5. And X is negative 0 0.5. This one is negative. Then negative, negative. This positive. Then for 1. So, 1 my uh, negative 1, negative 5. This one is negative. So, 1 plus 1, that's positive. X is positive 1. Then, this one is positive, negative, positive. This one is negative. So, from the given, we have uh, less than 0. And all negative numbers are less than 0. So, just look for the negative result. So, we have uh, this war critical values so we have negative between negative 4 and negative 1 so between negative 4 and negative 1 and also negative on the right of 0 so on the right of 0 that's negative so in interval notation now we have negative 4 to negative 1 then union 0 to positive infinity. So this is now the solution.